Fixed mobile convergence was another track here at the Broadband World Forum. We asked, what benefits does it bring and what challenges may businesses face? Fixed mobile convergence is just the next natural evolution of uh, the industry, in a way. People have voted with their feet in the sense that they love consuming services whilst they're on the move, whilst they're on the pause. Um, equally, we see bandwidth demands driving capacity ever higher. The way, from a technology perspective, we meet those two needs, ever higher capacity demands and the desire to consume services wherever we are is through fixed mobile convergence. The good news is that the technology underneath is all converging anyway. So you have one uh, set of core components that will do fixed voice and will do mobile voice. Um, that brings a lot of cost benefits because you don't have to have multiple platforms. Uh, you don't have a separate fixed network, you don't have a separate mobile network. So combining those together makes it a lot uh, more cost effective to provide services. There's a number of challenges associated with this route. I mean, the technical ones I think will just get worked through. Today, what look like challenges uh, in a commercial sense are actually just opportunities we're working in research. They will get worked through because that's what the industry does. Um, commercial challenges will all be about the goodness, the goodness of competition. What price will people be willing to pay? What services do they want? And how do we flow those through to the, the companies who are making those investments? I think actually the challenges really are in the organisational management. So there's a lot of resistance within operators, or there's a desire and a resistance to do it. So you're ending up in a place where you're getting people um, who no longer know how they're going to fit into the organisation. Now organisations tend to be fairly siloed still. Uh, you have the fixed line business, you have a fixed core business, you have the mobile business, you have the transmission business, and that's becoming very much more horizontal. Um, so there needs to be a lot of restructuring in, in, in operators' organisations. I'm very optimistic about all such challenges though because we've had 178 years of transformation across our industry since the industry began. We haven't failed to find compelling ways of cracking commercial problems and technical problems and I'm absolutely sure over the next decade we'll continue to do that.